Hi everyone and welcome to Studio Hacks where we look at music production and tech trends. In this video I'm going to show you how you can convert a WAV file to an MP3 using an online tool which is completely free and I'll also show you how to rip the audio out of a video so you can get an MP4 file which is a video format and we can convert that to an audio format such as WAV or MP3. You can use this online audio tool pretty much to convert any audio file to another type of file or most video files to an audio file. If you want to see how to do that really quickly and easily, stick around and I'll show you how to do that right now. I have three files on my desktop. One is a WAV file, which is a master of a song I created. One is an MP3, which I downloaded from the YouTube Music Library and one is a short introduction to, to YouTube videos, which is an MP4, which is a video format. So first of all, if I want to grab this .wav file, I normally use a tool which I have installed on my computer um, called the Pro Audio Converter. So I just right click on it and then select Open With and then Pro Audio Converter. Um, this is a pretty cheap, I think it's like less than $10 and I use it all the time because you can batch process, which means I can grab a whole album worth of WAV files from a project I've been doing, and then I can just encode them to an MP3. I can encode them to multiple formats. But I found myself uh, recently uh, using a computer that I don't normally use, and it did not have the Pro Audio Converter on it. Um, and then I tested a few of the online audio converters and found this one to be the easiest to use and the best quality. So you, you open, uh, I'll leave the link to this, it's online-audio-converter.com. Just click Open Files and then select, I'm going to select this Living Large Master from my desktop and select Open. This will uh, upload it here, depending on the speed of your internet, that should take 30 seconds to a minute uh, for a WAV file. And then once it's uploaded, we select the output. So this is really cool, it's our iPhone ringtone as well on here. M4A, which is the audio codec for Apple. So these, um, this is a, a WAV file is an uncompressed audio file, which is high quality. And we're going to downgrade that to a lossy format, like an MP3, uh, which will be much smaller file size. And this is the most important thing here. Never use standard or economy unless you really know what you're doing and you specifically want this. Sometimes people use standard to protect their music online. They only release it as low quality for free. And then if you want to purchase it, you can get the high quality. Um, I always use good or best. There's no reason to really, you know, you, the, the best will be a little bit bigger. Um, good is fine, 192. This is the, the best sort of ballpark because when you get 128 kilobit per second MP3, it's quite low quality and you can really hear that it's an MP3. You won't hear it so much on these top two settings. Um, so let's select good and then uh, under advanced settings, you can change uh, some of the things. You can add a fade in and a fade out. You can reverse it. I, I don't really need to do this. And this is where I can select uh, constant or variable bitrate. If you don't know what that is, you don't need to know what that is. But you can uh, select 48 kilohertz here if you if you know about the um, sample rate and you want to change it to a different sample rate. That's where you can do it. But for all the newbies and the casual users, just click convert. It will convert it to an MP3 really quickly and then you'll be able to download that using this link. You can download it to your Google Drive or to your Dropbox, but I'm just going to download it to my desktop. And let's go desktop here. And then it will give me an MP3. Let's have a quick listen of that. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, that's full quality. That's converted it really well. Uh, if you want to convert another one, you just click here, convert another file. So this is um, really no strings attached tool, which I, I really like. So a lot of these websites, um, these online converters, they spam you with tons of like really dodgy advertisements, um, um, pop-ups and things like that. And also they can be notorious for um, asking you, like putting watermarks and things on. So this one is really good because it doesn't do any of that. So I can also select from my desktop this MP4, which is just a short video intro to my YouTube 
um, very small file um, and for a video file anyway and then we can do the similar thing so if I want to grab the audio out of this um, video file and and create it to a high quality WAV I can select CD quality you don't really need to use extra high a lot of um, audio interfaces these days in studios don't go as high as 96 kilohertz just select 44.1 that's CD quality um, unless you really need 48 kilohertz and you'll know it probably if you do just select the standard um, and then download and that should be a WAV file uh, let's see that should be a WAV file of this intro so this intro is just like I'll show you what it is it's just my little intro that I use and then hopefully I should have that audio um, that's a song that I made called Summer Dreaming. I'll just wait for that. It's taking a bit long. I'll join back with you when that's downloaded. Okay, so I didn't realize that it kept the original song. I had two songs there, so it's actually converted both of them. Um, and then it's let me download that as a zip. So that's kind of cool. This does have batch processing as well. I didn't realize that, which means you can upload 10 tracks and then uh, convert them and download them as a zip. But let's have a listen to that to see whether that's converted it well. Uh, that's the in, sorry. Let's see if it's similar quality. Yep, that's basically exactly the same. So then um, you, this is a really good tool um, because you often uh, export songs from a digital audio workstation as a WAV file um, and then it's too large to send to somebody via email because the WAV files are like 40 or 50 megabytes. And then you'll see that the MP3 version of that same song, if I get info on that, it's only five megabytes, which is a lot easier to just attach to an email. Um, so the original one is about 10 times as large. Um, I always have a, a high quality WAV version and an MP3 version of every project I do. And the MP3 is for sending to people and for quick uploads to low quality things. And the WAV is for high quality uploads, like when I'm uploading it to Spotify or if I'm selling the track to someone, I want to send them the high quality version um, if they're using it for an advertisement or something like that. And it's also a really handy tool for ripping the audio out of videos. Um, I can highly recommend it. I haven't had any problems with this. I'm not affiliated with this website in any way. Um, I just wanted to let you know that this is a great tool if you don't have an audio converter. You don't really need to buy one because it's right here on the internet for you. All right, thank you for watching. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you found this content valuable and drop a like on the video. I'd love to have you on board as a subscriber. We put out uh, content every week, um, usually three or four videos a week on music production and tech trends, mainly on the iPhone and the Mac uh, operating system. So uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.